As we continue to bring you acts of kindness, this one involves a basketball and a man on a mission. WCPO 9 News reporter Paolo Suro tells us how a Middletown business owner is changing things a dribble at a time. Rodney Hunter. It's very easy for us to resort to some of the negative surroundings instead of something positive. Stands on the street he grew up on, a neighborhood that brings back memories. It was very hard to stay out of trouble. There were more troubling opportunities than there were uh, positive opportunities. Of how basketball changed his life. In fact, Hunter even started a sports training academy called B2E Sports or Ballers to Elite. With it, he helps turn young basketball players into better athletes and, as he says, better people. There were times where I had friends who wanted to go do negative things and I decided to play basketball and you know their life is now much different than mine. They've made decisions that you know put them away for many years, 20 plus years. Now he plans on changing even more lives with these signs of positivity. Signs encouraging those who grew up like Hunter did to stay positive, you know, get grab a ball, uh, stay out of trouble. And free basketballs to help them do just that. I may never know who it impacts and that's okay with me. Um, but my goal is just to change some kid's life by simply giving them an outlet to dribble a basketball instead of choosing something different, which may ultimately change the outcome of their life, which may give them a story to tell later on, just like myself. What started by placing six basketballs throughout his former neighborhood near Rosa Parks Elementary has since blown up online. If it wasn't for basketball, I don't know what path I would have taken in life. It legit saved my life. Now he hopes this act of kindness will become a movement in other communities throughout the tri-state. I'm just hoping that it's, it changes someone's life. Paola Soro, WCPO 9 News. Now with social distancing in place, he wants to stress that people shouldn't be gathering in big groups to play right now. Instead, he encourages the community to grab a ball and de-stress during these difficult times.